Hey everyone, Sarian here. Welcome back to In Stars and Time. So, in our last episode, we found out that the world may be ending tomorrow, as the mysterious king put a time curse on the world and is planning to freeze everyone and everything in time. We'll be helping our friend Mirabelle, the chosen savior of the people, to stop the king once and for all before he can spread his sadness and despair on the world. In other news, we're having a sleepover before the big day, so let's continue inviting everyone. Hi. Oh? Is someone there? Yeah, hello. Aha! Uh -huh. Hello there! Oh, I don't recognize your voice. Are you per perhaps one of the saviors? Ah, uh, I knew it, I knew it. It's very nice to meet you. I've met another one of you earlier. They smelled like snacks. A little kid by the name of Bonnie, was it? If you're looking for them, I heard them go past the bridge just south of here a little while ago. They went to look at my veggie field, talked to me about my veggie field, and went back to look at my veggie field. They said my vegetables look really shiny and delicious. So I would die for them now. Nice. Ah, uh, perhaps I shouldn't make such jokes considering... Considering they might actually die soon because of the king's curse. Jeez, that's grim. Interesting. You didn't think a welcoming village like Dormant knew how to lock doors. Huh. I thought this was your house. A kid's frog-loving kid. The little girl making a frog embroidery seems too shy to make eye contact with you. Hi. Hi. She seems shy. Leave her alone. Bye. Wizard-loving kid. Hey, I'm a wizard. Hey. Hey, big-hatted one. My mother talked about you. She said you're a traveler with a big hat, but it doesn't mean you're a wizard. Oh. Because wizards aren't real. Are you a wizard? You wish. Nope, just a traveler. Boring. The kid turns away and ignores you. So mean. The kid still dances as she looks at you curiously. Hey, you look... so weird. Are you from up in the sky? Are you? <laughs> How did you know? Yes! I knew it! If you're from the sky, then... I'm gonna give this back to you. A four-pointed leaf. Huh. Put the leaf in your pocket along with your souvenirs. It fell from the sky, but I'm giving it back. Thank you for this gift. Mm-hmm. The kid nods stoically. Well, at least some kids are nice. I do not hesitate to call you weird-looking drawing kid. This kid seems to be drawing pictures of someone. Oh, it's Mirabelle. Uh huh. It's Mirabelle. The kid beams at you. They shuffle their drawings around and show you another one. That's... Uh, that's me! It's you! It's me! Kid smiles and kicks their feet happily. You really like their art. Maybe. Can you draw something I can take with me? The kid looks at you for a moment and then gets to work. Hmm. It's all of us. It's you and your friends. It's me and my friends. <laughs> the kid makes a happy noise and gives you the drawing. You got the friendship doodle. You put the drawing in your pocket along with your souvenirs. Thank you, talented one. The kid laughs happily and gets back to drawing. That drawing is going to save the world. Hi, you're the flower, flower growing one. Hello. Ah. Aren't you one of the saviors traveling with Mirabelle? You're doing so much for us. 
I wish I could help you in some way. I know. I grow flowers. Beautiful flowers that could make someone like you happy. Here, have one. You could keep it or gift it to someone special. Nice. Okay. Oh shit, I never opened the menu. That's, that's us. We got Sifrin. He looks so crafty. Mirabelle. Isabeau. What is Mirabelle's weapon? It looks like a... A sewing needle. Isabeau so beefy. Odile. So old. And Bunny. Okay. Sifrin, it's you. Okay. Pretty decent HP. I don't know what's decent in this world. Mirabelle, a housemaiden from the town Dormant, blessed by the change god. It's like a fencing sword, I guess. So thin. Weak to rock, resistant to scissors and paper, immune to time freeze. So maybe she's the only one who just isn't affected by the king's magic, the king's craft. Oh, wow. Got a lot of HP. Isabeau. A fighter from the city of Jovant. He quit his job as a defender to join in this journey. Weak to paper, resistant to scissors. I, I didn't know that, that was the actual battle mechanic. <laughs> Deal a researcher of something from Kabui. Her craft knowledge is unparalleled. Weak to scissors, resistant to rock. Uh, I see. Weak to scissors, so she's paper. That makes sense. A researcher, a book, a book nerd. Okay. Weak to paper, resistant to scissors. He's a rock. To rock, resistant to scissors and paper. What? I'll choose the special one. And we're more of scissors. Okay. And Bonnie. That's just a kid. Who brought a kid here? Weak to cheese, resistant to veggies. They're lactose intolerant. HP irrelevant. Attack doing their best. Defense not great. Attack speed every two turns. Luck high. Okay. We got something going on for them. Current XP. Preteen. To like next level? Nope. Wow. Okay. Ah. Uh. Gotta find. I don't even know who's in this area. But my friend made a sign for my house, so now I have to keep it. <laughs> Beautiful one. Whoa. Oh. Hello, traveler. I hope the smell isn't in here isn't too overpowering. What you cooking? I'm cooking a lot of different things for tomorrow. All of us in Dormant talked a few days back, and we decided that while you'll be exploring the house to fight the king, everyone in the village will be partying. What? <laughs> that way, if you win, we'll already have the party in full swing. But if you don't, and we all get frozen by the king's curse, we'll be frozen in time, but at least we'll be happy. A party. Uh, good for you? <sighs> I can tell you find that weird. Even if the end is coming for us, it's still a new form of change. And any type of change deserves to be celebrated. Bogart is so weird. Some recipes. Beautiful cutlery. Lots of plates. Piles of plates. Well, they're just gonna have a party. While we're dying in there.
Hello? Bonnie's here, looking morosely at the fields. Bonnie! You can't eat the vegetables. Hey, friend. Oh boy. What do you want? Questions. Uh, clock tower, sleepover. <laughs> sleepover? That's pretty dumb. Oh, is it your idea? Hey. Mirrors, actually. Oh. And then it's a great idea. Why didn't you come up with it? Stars, you do not know how to deal with Bonnie anymore. Uh, worrying about tomorrow? No. Hmm. Not even a little bit. That's a lie. Your sister will be okay, you know. Don't talk about my sister! And anyway, I don't need to worry about her. It's not like she's gonna move from her spot. Bonnie's sister is in Bambush, a coastal village hundreds of kilometers from here. A few months ago, the king froze their whole village in time. Oh, jeez. Unless you manage to beat the king tomorrow, Bonnie's sister will never move again. <sighs> um, what will you do after? If we beat the king, I'll go and see my sister in Bambouche, duh. And then? And then I'll hug her. And then? And then I'll tell her I really, really tried. Tried what? And then? And then he won't be here anyway, so he won't be here to ask me stupid questions, you crab. What about you anyway? What will you do? What will you do? Go to space? Space sounds lame. I bet you can't even go there anyway. I totally can. Are we from space? Wait, really? How? It's a secret. Wink. This is why I don't like you, Sifrin. Oh. Flower for you. I'll keep the flower for now. Nothing. Huh. See you at the clock tower. You talk to Bonnie. Nice. Okay. Who is this way? It's gotta be someone. Hi? Isabeau is here. Probably pondering what favor to ask the tree. Isa! Sif! Isa! Sif! Okay, that's enough. Oh, boo! Anyway, I was just looking at the favor tree. Isn't this tree cool? Hmm. Yeah, it is. Glad you agree. One could say it's a pretty... Uh-huh. Tree meant this tree. Ha <laughs> Yeah! Yeah! Yes! You both laugh. Laughing uproariously, he raises his hand towards your shoulder. But stops and brings it to his side. Huh. <sighs> that was funny. I'm gonna go soon so you can do your thing with the tree. But do you want to talk before I go? Questions. Um, clock tower sleepover? Huh? A sleepover? Crab yeah. <laughs> what? Doesn't the clock tower have only three beds, though? I'm guessing Bon Bon and Mira will share. And M Madame Odile will take her own. Madame? Oh, which means we'll share beds again, Sif. I got dibs on the left side. Uh, sure. Yay! But please try not to hug the covers this time. It's getting cold at night. What's up with the big tree? Oh? You don't know about the favorite tree? <laughs> well, it's just a random big tree. But when you're a believer of the House of Change, the biggest tree in a certain place is called a favorite tree. It's like... the tree with the most power. So you can ask it things? As a favor? Like... Please help me pass my defender exams? Which is like a totally random example. Wasn't Isabeau a defender? 
that you ask a math mythical tree to help you pass your exams. And I passed with flying colors, thank you very much. Well, I did study very hard, so it's not like the tree did much. But even a little bit helps. You should ask the tree for a favor too. It's a big day tomorrow. Hmm. Maybe I will. What will you do after? After we beat the king? Oh, well, Sif. So confident. So cool. I like it. I think I'll just return home to Jovant. I don't have anything else planned. I wonder how Jovant is doing. When we left it, it was still standing, moving. But I think the king's curse may have caught up to it. So then... Will you take your job back? Nah, being a defender has kind of lost its shine. I always admired the defenders, you know? It's all about protecting your neighborhood, your city. Helping them out with whatever they need. Be it getting a cat from a tree or helping an old man with his bags. But when Mira came to Jovan asking for help after Durman's house had fallen, I was ready to help for all of Jovan's defenders to help. Uh, for all of Jovan's defenders to help. And you know what they said? Yeah. And I could tell that they said that because they were scared. The worst defenders see is like a robbery maybe. So suddenly helping to save Felgard was too much for them. But not helping because you're scared? I just couldn't accept that. That's not brave. So I quit and I won't go back. I'll do something else. Maybe it's time for me to do something brand new. I got a secret. I've always wanted to be a clothing designer. So maybe I could take it, just take an apprenticeship somewhere. You never knew. Go with the stylish one. That sounds great, Isa. <laughs> I knew you'd approve. What about you, Sif? What will you do when we beat the king? What will you do? Start a comedy club. Wait, really? Are you serious? Uh, yes, absolutely. Yes. Finally, more people will be able to hear your puns. Okay, I'll be going now. I'll see you at the clock tower later. Nice. The favor tree. The favorite tree looms above you. You slowly walk closer to the trunk of the tree, where you can see some leaves you can grab. You need a leaf to ask the favorite tree for something after all. You look around for a leaf you like and think, hmm. Asking for a favor from a higher power, like a big tree, sounds pretty close to a wish, you think. A wish, a wish. The favorite trees seem to be popular among people in Valgard lately. You think that if people came to make a wish, they'd probably wish for Valgard to be saved. You don't really need to add another wish like that to the pile. The trees are probably already on it. But you'd feel bad wishing for something big and taking away from everyone's wish to save Valgard. Something small then. Something simple. Something nice. <sighs> okay, you have a few ideas, but you can only choose one. You wish to visit more places with Mirabelle, to wear clothes Isabeau had made, has made, to go with Odile to see her country, to be here when Bonnie reunites with their sister. Hmm. I think that would be nice. It's simple enough. And it's something like you can wish for. Like, 
Everything else is something you can actively do, you know? Bonnie has been distant from you lately. You're not sure why. But you like to be here when they see their sister again. They miss their sister so much. Sometimes you can hear them cry out at night, calling their sister's name. If you could help them save her, help them get back to their sister and see her safe and alive, you'd like to do that. You want them to be happy. You want to stay with them. Wish in mind, you look at the leaf you've chosen and wish. You breathe your wish into the leaf, repeat it three times, and fold the leaf close, closed, keeping your wish safe. All done. Gently, you let the leaf go and walk back to the town. You have a sleepover to go to, after all. So, the clock tower to the east of town, past the broken bridge, huh? It may be time for you to head out there. How do we get across the bridge? Also, I need to give this flower to someone. I was thinking I was going to give it to Isabeau. These two seem to be... already very friendly. Uh... Maybe we go north? Oh. Hello? Hello, young lad. Sit down next to me. You can sit on benches and stools by walking into them. Yes, I know. Just walk into them. Very intuitive. Okay. What are we looking at? That's a weird looking castle. Horrifying, isn't it? Our beautiful house of change warped into such a terrible shape. I was about to say beautiful. The king waits inside, waits for the entire country to be f to finally be frozen in time. I shall pray for your victory tomorrow. Thanks, lady. You know, you're kind of old. Bye. Why is there a banana peel here? Ah, you heard the villagers talk about this. A very dangerous fruit, which, if approached, will spell your doom. This is just a banana peel. Do bananas even grow here? You would rather not die today, so you leave the banana peel alone. Well, clearly someone ate it, so... Okay, how do we get to the clock tower? What is this? Oh, that's <laughs> the place we napped. I totally forgot. Hehehe, <laughs> I am fishing. You look like someone who would like fishing. Would you like to fish for a little bit? Why not? Hehehe, <laughs> fishing, huh? You don't really know how to do this. You take the fishing pole they're offering you. Choose a lure the same shade as the water. Check the fishing pole, throw it in the water, and sit down and wait. Yeah, this feels right. Fishing time. Hmm. You didn't catch anything. That's too bad. <laughs> All right. Maybe through the vegetable field? No. How do I get across? Oh. Oh! <laughs> okay. Well, I'm glad we explored everything else. Someone probably put it here to make sure you didn't get lost. Hmm. 
Oh. Sifrin, you're here. We were waiting for you. Let's go inside. I am so hungry. You're pretty hungry yourself. I brought back a bunch of food. Let's go, let's go. Phew, Bon Bon. That was delicious. You keep getting better at cooking, Bonnie Face. Those samosas were delicious. Really? It wasn't bad? You liked it? I mean, of course it was delicious. I'm a master cooker, you know. Uh, chef. I'm a chef cooker. That was the perfect meal, Bonnie. We'll all sleep well tonight and be full of energy tomorrow. It was almost too much, to be honest. I don't think I can move. Was it too much? You could have eaten more. Ah, Sif, are you still hungry? Prin, you ate a lot, huh? You liked my cooking a lot, huh? Here, have some more food since you're so hungry and like my cooking so much. Bonnie gives you one, one, carrot slice. Chomp. How can you still eat? How can such a small body eat that much? I'm a growing kid. A growing kid that drinks alcohol? You're older than most of the people here? You wink cutely. Everyone, can I say something? What's up, Mira? Um, we... We've all been traveling together for a while now. It hasn't always been easy, but meeting you all. Traveling through Valgard to get the orbs needed to open the house's gate again. There's no way I could have done this alone. I... I want to say thank you for coming with me this far. But tomorrow, we'll go fight the king. Someone who has thrown Valgard into stillness and silence. Someone who has now frozen almost all of Valgard in time. I, I'll do my best to make sure this doesn't happen to any of you, but if you don't want to come, if, if you want to go back home, I would... Kind of late for that, Mirabelle, isn't it? I know. I... And by that, Madame Odile means that we're with you. Of course I do. We've come this far after all. Did you really think we'd leave you behind? Let you go alone? We'll follow you, Belle. We'll help. Don't worry. We'll stay with you, Mira. You never let her go alone, after all. Oh. Oh, thank you. Isabeau and Bonnie hug Mirabelle tightly, while you and Odile stand a bit apart like always. This is when the audience at a theater would say, Oh. Let's go to bed. We've got a big day tomorrow. Indeed. Then, good night, everyone. Good night. Sif. Hey. Hey, Sif. Sifrin. Sifaruni. Isabeau is whispering your name. Turn around and listen. Oh. Um, sorry to, to wake you up. I just have to tell you something, if that's okay. He dares interrupt your beauty sleep. He knows you value your sleep, so this must be important. You nod. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, then I shall tell you the thing. The thing I woke you up to tell you. <laughs> um, okay. 
So, the thing I have to tell you is that I don't have anything to tell you right now, uh, but I will when, uh, when we beat the king tomorrow. Okay? That is so ominous, is a. It's not meant to be. I, I, I just don't want to tell you right now. It might distract you. And we wouldn't want that, right? So, um... I'll tell you when we beat the king. Okay? What could he want to tell you? It seems important to him. So the only thing you can say is... Okay. Okay. <laughs> I can imagine that he doesn't know how to whisper. Some people are trying to sleep. Yeah, Isabeau. <laughs> Some people are trying to sleep. Close your mouth and sleep. You close your mouth, housemaiden. You're gonna wake up Madame Odile. I'm already up. And if the noise continues, I will stand up. You do not want to know what will happen if I stand up. Sorry. Sorry, madame. S sorry. Good night, Sif. You feel safe surrounded by all your friends. You fall asleep. So much romance, so much tension. Here we are. The house is gay. You look up at it. The house's gate, huh? It's bigger than I thought. So scary. It really is locked shut. I can see space for us to put the orbs. This whole adventure. This whole journey. After all this time. I can finally open it. I have my orb right here. Let's go for it then. Okay, here we are. What is that? Oh, up ahead, that's a sadness. A sadness, huh? The house must be crawling with him. Uh, okay, everyone, let's, um, uh, don't get overwhelmed now. <sighs> Come on. We've seen tons of those already. Don't worry, Belle. We can take care of them, no problem. Uh, okay, but... Mirabelle seems overwhelmed. Maybe talking would make her feel better. Something to distract her. Something like... Oh my, should we go over strategy again? D don't tease me, Sifrin. But, um, yes. I would like that. So, um, to start with, Sifrin should... You're about to enter a battle. Here's some basic stats about you and your party rem members to remember. You. Scissors type. Weak to rock. Fast can make everyone faster. Okay, interesting. Mirabelle. Scissors slash paper type, weak to rock. Heals and can boost friend's attack. Isabeau, rock type, weak to paper. Hits hard, can boost friend's defense. Odile, paper type, weak to scissors. 
can use craft spells of any type. Slow can make enemies slower. And Bonnie helps out randomly in battle. But most importantly, snack duty. I hate this. Sorry, Bon Bon. The sadnesses in here are too powerful for your tiny little arms. You can help out sometimes, as long as you make sure to keep your distance. But we know that's boring, so that's why we also made you in charge of snacks. It's a super duper very important job, you know. The super duper importantest. Don't patronize the kid. Yeah, don't patronize me. <laughs> All good? All good. You smile. Here we go. Monster time! Oh god, I'm kind of scared. Phew. Okay, okay. Don't worry. You focus on the healing. Big guy over there can hit things. And you, Sephirin, keep the puns and one-liners to a minimum, please. Okay, rude. We should examine the sadness first to know what we're up against, so... So it's your job, madam. Yes. Please slow down, everyone, and let me attack first once. When it's my turn, I'll examine the enemy by using a craft skill. Okay. Oh, deal time. Examine. Remnants of the people that were defeated by the king. Their grief and sadness is all that remains. They cannot tell friend from foe anymore. Defeating them is all we can do. Every sadness has a different resistance and weakness. Maybe there's a way to figure it out from their appearance. Um... We need to do certain hand signs when we craft skills. So maybe we should look at their hands? Scissors? Very well done, Boniface. So the sadness must be... Sifrin? What do you think? If you look at its hands... Scissors type? Yeah! It's doing a scissor sign. Indeed it is. Maybe it's a peace sign. Maybe it comes in peace. You don't know. So if this enemy is a scissors type, what's the best type of attacks we can use against it, Sifrin? Your turn again? Uh, rock attacks? Yeah! Rack beat scissors. Exactly. Thankfully, even after examining this enemy, it is still my turn. And thankfully, you can all use all three types of craft. Yes. I'm still paper type though, so hopefully the sadness doesn't attack me. Let's go and attack it now. Alright. Do rock. Tristesse. Weak. Nice. Yeah. Great hit, Madame Odile. Um, what's that symbol that appeared on the right after you attacked again? Uh, I have no idea. I know you said it before, but I forgot. Ah, good eye, Boniface. Don't worry about it right now. Just remember it's there for later. Let's finish beating up this sadness, shall we? No need to slow down for me anymore. Uh, it's our turn to attack whenever our attack gauge is filled, right? It's that gauge that fills up automatically when no one is doing anything. Precisely. Let's defeat the sadness now. Okay. So. Knife to meet you. Two cleaver by half. Uh. Well, we can just focus on attacking it now. Super sparkly heel. Pretty buffy friend. Interesting. I'll do that. Very nice, Mirabelle. Smash, kaboom. A zoo smash. Nice. 
Beatrice does, looks at you. Oh. Don't do that. Yahoo! Well, we did it. That was easy, wasn't it? It was. Just look at the enemy's hands to find out their type and attack accordingly. You breathe in and out. 100 EXP received. Okay. I like this. We did it. See, Mira? It wasn't that bad. Going through the house will be a piece of cake. You smile and take the lead. Wait. Oh! More sadnesses. We'll have to fight them if we want to proceed. Or we could just run and make sure they don't touch us. Um, um, could we keep talking about strategies for a bit, maybe? Hmm. I'd like a refresher, too. Uh, yes. Alright. Well, let's keep fighting, then. We'll enter battle if those sadnesses touch you, Sifrin, so get ready. Something is keeping you from going back. Oh, man. It's not turning back now. Oh, we'll face them head on. This one's a rock type. Uh, Sifrin? <laughs> Why do I get all the questions? Correct. Yay, yeah, Sif. You did it, Sif. Okay, phew. And if it's a rock type, it's weak too. Uh... Again? Stars, you know this. It's weak to paper. Correct again. Sifrin, you're so talented. You know so many things. Congrats, Sifrin. Ugh. <laughs> All right, we went over attacks and types, so let's talk about craft skills. Compared to normal attacks, craft skills are more powerful or may allow us to heal or buff ourselves up. Enemies won't be shy about using craft skills, so we shouldn't either. Using one craft skill means we'll go into cooldown, all right? After using one, we won't be able to execute the same skill for a few turns. Uh, it's usually fine, but it might be dangerous with healing skills. I'll try to make sure to use my healing skills carefully so I don't run out of, at a dangerous moment. Alright, that is important to know. But even if it happens, there's items in, to recharge our cooldown skills, and there might be skills and equipment out there to help out. That is true. In the meantime, let's attack, shall we? Feel free to try things out. Okay. Ow. Alright, we got this. I think. Make everyone faster. Mirabelle. Mirabelle is... What is Mirabelle? Artsy Silent Burst. Nice! Holy shit, Mirabelle. You're gonna attack. Nice. Okay. I gotta be careful with using the craft skills. We did it! Uh, but really, what are those symbols that appeared when you did a rock, paper, scissors attack? You'll see. Alright. Alright. Let's go get that other one. Other one. Oh. Oops. I don't know if it matters if you get hit by the side. Side. Alright, what's this one to type? <laughs> Let's see. Do you know this? Isabeau? Huh? Me? Well, um, it's paper type, madame. And so it means it's weak to scissors. Sif's type. And Mirabelle's. 
and Mirabelle's, of course. And I have scissor skills at my disposal as well. Yes, madame, I knew that. Uh-huh. Since it's weak to scissors, I think you should use scissors attacks. Scissors attacks a bunch. Great idea, Bonnie Face. I wonder what will happen if we use the same type of craft skill multiple times in a row. <laughs> oh, is that what the icon is for? Okay, nice, nice to meet you. Blah, 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 blah. Cool one-liner. Okay. Feels like you guys are on a roll with those scissor attacks. I don't have any scissors attacks. So, how about I give my turn away to someone who does? Which is, like we established earlier, literally everyone but me, I guess. Heh, <laughs> that's what you get for being rock type. Hey everyone, I I'm being bullied by a preteen? Please advise. You'll get over it. But great idea, Isabel. To make sure we keep using the same type right after the other, use that skill of yours to give your turn away. Or you, you can guard if you want. Oh, your turn. Okay. <laughs> I'm not saying that. Oh, boost their attack and crit chance. Nice. Oh, deal. You're up. Scissors 3. Okay, so next, let's... Uh-oh. Madame Odile. Ah. The sadness is about to attack Odile. Isabeau got in front of her. Wait, no. What? Isabeau. Owie. I'll see you all in a minute. Isabeau is KO. Uh, are you okay? Oh, yeah, I'm fine. Don't you need someone to be KO'd for your tutorial anyway? Hmm. Very true. Let's keep this tutorial going then. Thank you for playing along. No problem. I'll stay right here then. Stop talking. You're KO'd and KO'd people can't talk, dummy. Okay. Hmm. Is it really okay? Anyway, when someone's health points search HP, uh, there's multiple ways to wake them up, like crafted water, revival skill, okay. But how about we make this interesting? With... Oh! I remember what those scissor symbols are for. If we do a combo and we have five of the same symbol, we can do a jackpot skill. Exactly, bunny face. And see... We already have a combo of three right there. We do. When we get five of the same symbol, whether rock, paper, or scissors, we'll be able to use a jackpot skill. Only rock, paper, and scissors attacks count for the jackpot, by the way. We should be careful with how we use those skills, but we can use any other type of skill or item without breaking the combo. Got it. Yay. A combo will save me. Please do a combo. You heard the man. Let's add two more scissor symbols to our lineup, shall we? Okay. I want to help too. Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, this is scissors, right? Now get ready. Nice, everyone unleashed a scissors attack. Yahoo! We won! And I'm not out cold anymore. Every time we manage to use a jackpot skill, anyone who's out cold is revived, and we'll all get healed a little bit as well. We should try to do combos as often as we can. Hmm. That's cool and all, but... But what if you won without doing that jackpot skill? Would you have let's just left me there? Uh, no, of course not. We have some items. We would have revived you. 
They'll always revive anyone who's KO'd after a battle. Can't make unconscious people run around, can we? Are you really ups that this upset that we left you alone for two minutes? Nah, not really. I'm just doing my part. Plus, the floor was nice and refreshing. That's sad. It is, but you're not supposed to say it out loud, Bonnie Face. Hey? And that's the end of this little refresher. All good, Mirabelle? I yes. Thank you very much. You think you got everything, too. <sighs> Sorry for not paying attention, Isabeau. Uh, don't worry about it. I'm all good. Anything for the tutorial. Huh. Let's get going, then. Uh... Is there a way for me to save? Why does this look like Undertale? A storage room. Let's look around. I see a few tonics on those tables. Make sure to pick them up and give them to Bonnie before we leave. Check that closet, too. There might be some cool stuff in there. You should check those out. Just me? Oh. Boxes and papers and... A pendant shaped like a bell. Nice. Well, that closet was useless. But pretty pendant, though. Can the pendant heal me when I'm hurt? Maybe it can. You don't know. You look at the pendant closely. It's just a pendant shaped like a bell. But you like it, so you put it in your pocket along with your souvenirs. Alright. Okay, you can get useless and interesting things. So I can't put it on. That's what you're trying to tell me. I'd rather not. Okay. Nice. Someone just took the bottle from you. Huh. Hm. Dial said I'm on deal. Dial? Odile? Is her name Odile? Dial said I'm on spices duty. Still, that's a lot of spices you found there. Oh, oh, I know this one. Pepper raises your attack, ginger raises your defense, and time makes you faster. Because spicy stuff makes people angry, ginger makes you not sick, and time? Well, I don't actually know why time makes you faster. Me neither. Because you get a lot of extra time, right? Crafted water. Hmm. Dial also said I'm on water duty. Um, this is a crafted water. If someone gets knocked out during battle, just a drop of it is enough to wake them right up. Someone at school told me it was just coconut water. Wait, is it? <laughs> Alright. Super sour tonic. Oh, sour tonics for everyone to share. You know, I always wondered why they're more powerful than regular sour tonics while they're the same size. And they're just that concentrated. I tried drinking a full super sour tonic once. And uh, what happened? I couldn't taste anything for weeks. Oh. Sour tonic. You just give it all to them. Yeah, you learn fast, friend. Be careful with those items, Bonnie Face. Guard them well. Be ready to throw those at us, at us if we need them during battle. It's probably safer than making all of us carry some. But Sif found those. You don't trust Sif to keep our items safe? The person who a few weeks ago mixed up all the items we had to make a so-called super potion? No. I don't trust Sifrin with items. <laughs> you cutely bat your eyes. T tonics are good to keep your HP up so you, you don't get knocked out in battle. They're very sour. But the sourness is sure to make you more awake and ready for anything. Interesting. Some flyers, they say, House of Change open. Come and see what you can do for the community and what the community can do for you. 
There's some people with sparkly eyes holding hands drawn on it. <laughs> I drew those a few years ago to let to, to get people to come to the house. It's a little embarrassing now. You'd think they look nice. That sure is a pillar. Water. Nuts. Alright. There's something sparkling there. What's a sparkling thing? Oh! It's a key! Could it be the key to open the door? Probably, right? We pick it up. Nice. The keychain dangling from it is shaped like a circle inside a circle inside a circle. Does it mean something? What's up with the circles? The design on the keychain, you mean? Oh, it's like, uh... Like the one on your shirt. It's the one, uh... Your cape. It's the one of the symbols of the House of Change belief. It's to show that we are all part of something bigger. The first circle is inside the bigger circle, which is also inside a bigger circle. It's also part of a house made into uniform. Like Belle's brooch. Yes. This is how I decided to wear it, but you can wear it however you want. As a necklace, a design on your clothes, or not at all. Breaking traditions is also part of the chain of belief. <laughs> and the teardrops on your brooch? Pretty. It goes ding ding when I walk. <laughs> Don't you love it when things go ding ding when you walk? Sure do. <laughs> Let it go. It's fine. Alright. What is this? Statue of the Change God. What happened to it? It's been destroyed. Just some bricks laying around. Alright. Wait. Is that anything? No. Okay. Well, I think in the next episode we'll see what's behind this door. So... We're really doing this. Today's the day we defeat the king. Or else, really. But yeah, this is... This has a very fun battle mechanic. It's definitely... It definitely stands out from other, you know, RPGs. I like it. Yeah, the rock, paper, scissors mechanic is pretty cute. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. We got a big battle ahead of us, I believe. But... Yeah, please remember to take care of yourself today, and I will see you next time. Take care. Bye.